I chose soccer was because I like playing soccer and I want to learn more about it. I'm on a travel team for my soccer, first soccer, and I just wanted to probably be a better soccer player as well. Why I chose this topic on rap is because I want to be a rapper when I grow up and I want to learn the steps that I need to um, know about being a rapper. My topic is baseball. The reason I chose baseball was because my parents played baseball and I was interested in playing baseball. I have a good arm for throwing and I have a good arm for hitting the ball real far. I chose my topic John Macaron because I wanted to know how John started his career so I could maybe start a tennis career of my own. I play tennis too on, on a team just like John did. I chose my topic Barry Sanders because I wanted to know more about Barry Sanders since everybody else is talking about him and I didn't really know anything about him so I wanted to know why is he so famous. I really, really like music and stuff especially the three um, people I picked for my report which is Janet Jackson, Tina Turner and Madonna and I picked them because I'm really interested in them and I think they've achieved great accomplishments in this while they're here doing their singing. So I just really wanted to have fun with it. Fun. <laughs> strike one, strike two, strike three. You're out of here. Popcorn, get your popcorn. Pepsi, get your Pepsi. This is a game of baseball, so listen up closely because this game is on. The, the game baseball is the new thing. It's going to make history. But when you finish reading this, you will find out how it was for blacks, whites, and Hispanics to play baseball. John McEnroe may be one of the most charismatic tennis players ever. With his fiery temper and his rebellious nature, John brought his emotion to the game. John brought a lot of people to like the sport of tennis. That's why a lot of people now watch Pete Sampras and Andre Agassi. John brought a lot of people to know him. John now plays in the senior circuit and still wins a lot of matches. Papers, pens, thoughts, poems, rhythm and rhymes. You put it together and what do you get? A rap. He's dribbling, he kicks, he scores. When you think of soccer, you usually think of big crowds, people kicking and dribbling a ball and trying to score on the other team, right? Well, did you know that some of the shots can go as fast as 80 miles per hour? Have you ever stopped and thought about how people played a long time ago or what a soccer ball is made of? Lightning fast, short, shy, humble. Mix those ingredients together and you get Barry Sanders. Legendary Barry Sanders is one of those people who you just, no matter how much you try, you just can't tackle him down. We're talking football, 13 NCAA records. This guy is severely explosive. What's his secret? Read on and find out. I chose my questions on Barry Sanders because I wanted to know more about Barry Sanders. And my resources go vertical down here. They go across the top of my research grid. And from those resources and questions, I got my answers that go in these blocks right here. And they helped me come up with three subtopics, um, boyhood, career, and present life. For example, boyhood number two goes right here. How did your brother inspire you? Number two goes right here. So that help, that question I can write in my report that forms from my outline. And these three categories go in my outline, boyhood, career, and present life. And from that outline, I can make my rough draft. Today we're um, peer editing Wade's second draft on his report about soccer. He's written an excellent introduction, as you know, and we heard him read the whole report to us yesterday. But we're going to be looking specifically with his second paragraph, which is actually the beginning of the body of his report. We're going to be looking at the topic sentence to see if we have enough supporting details. Does he tell us where it was first played? Yes. Where country, modern day soccer originated? Okay, and then he bridges it a little bit, letting us 
know that he's going to tell us how that they used to play soccer a little differently than today. What is his first topic sentence of his next paragraph, Goose? Do you know how people play the long time ago? And read the rest of the paragraph just to refresh your memories. I'll give you a moment to do that. We'll take the one more paragraph here today. Uh, then when time passed, people found a new way to play soccer. Has he made a smooth transition from this paragraph to this one? Yes. They took the bladder of a cow, inflated it, and kicked it around with a soccer ball. Nowadays, soccer balls are made of some kind of inner rubber bladder that they put inside the soccer ball. Then they sewed leather around on the outside of that soccer ball, so the ball bounced because of the inner rubber bladder and the sewed leather just covers it and gives the ball a little color and pattern to the soccer ball. Brittany, is there anything we could edit to make that, to improve on that sentence? I was running out of breath. What's your suggestion, Brittany? Yeah, I think another comment does help, Brittany, there because it's a long sentence, and in fact, Wade, you might want to consider making that part into two separate sentences. Probably knock off a few words that aren't really necessary, or I mean, like change it into two sentences maybe, or a few more sentences, or add a few more commas, maybe, so that it can be shorter and easier to read without running out of breath. Okay, that's something you can think about for your final draft, Wade, but you're doing an excellent job you're really getting the idea of having supporting details for your topic sentence, and I'm, I'm really pleased you all are really grasping that. As we're finishing up our research reports, we've been evaluating together what has made this research report different from others in the past, and each of the grade six students will be sharing what has made this project different for them and also what skill they feel they have really improved on in this whole process. I think it was fun because I got to look at all these different singers which I was interest, interested in and I got to find out more about them as I read through their dialogues and their biographies. What I enjoyed about this project was used doing peer editing. I thought peer editing really helped me to like form my report and fix the mistakes I made on my report. Um, what I, um, one thing I learned from this project was organizing an outline. Um, I think that helped me because um, during my reports in the past, I never used to like um, know what to write to start. And now I learned that um, organizing an outline to like form my report would help, help me write it. Uh, what I really enjoyed about um, this research report um, was the ability to choose a topic because that gave me the, like, the freedom to do something that I wanted to do instead of having something assigned to me. Well, first of all, a skill that I've really improved on is making my outline too, just as like Eric said, and also learning to dig deeper for when I'm just getting information and I, in other reports, I don't really want to dig deeper because it, the reports are so boring and it's not really my own words. What I enjoyed about my topic is getting information on my topic and doing the in interview with Koti and Anthony White. What I liked about this report was finding my own voice and having it instead of just writing word for word, right down on the paper and and I get an F or something because it wasn't in my own words and it didn't sound like a child's voice. It sounded like someone off an encyclopedia. That's it.